What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to run off up on last time, I recaptured Finland from the Swedish and they have since decided, to, well they've come within range for me to actually be able to chew them up quite comprehensively to destroy some elite foot guards units and some marines. Yes, these are marines. Excellent. Right, without further ado, let's crack on. So since I... Um, I've had some guidance. I think what I'm going to do is hold off on the west, fortify a bit, make Sweden, um, try knock the Ottomans out of Europe, but mainly start to focus more on pushing east through Persia than down into India. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head if the war in India has finished, if it's, you know, has the Ottomans, the Maratha Confederacy, and I suspect it has. Ooh. Oh, I can't garrison this building. That's that's quite unfortunate. Hmm. I need to turn this up for me. There we go. I need some artillery. I'd like to have a bit of a city battle going on. Form a reasonable line up here. Let's put. Hmm, let's put a unit of infantry. If they're not too big, it is too big. 281's too big. Good to know. Good. So you can sit there. 281. Oh, they can't garrison that yet, but they will do. Hmm, it's very tempting. No, I can't. I have a set of guns back here. Hmm, I could, I think I could. I think I could get away with it. If I kept militia out here to counter charge anyone trying to attack my guns. Okay, so in terms of infantry I've got to play with, I've got my grenadiers. Who I will... Who can't garrison that house. No one can. Who have I got left to play with? So you, you, you. Let's face it to these guys, plus my engineers. I have one unit here to fire through this gap. A unit here. Let's keep one unit of grenadiers. No, let's keep my grenadiers in the city. Um, keep my cavalry out. Well, one unit of cavalry. My ring wraiths out to the left. My regiment of uh, my regiment of horse out to the right. But I still do have quite a solid amount of actual infantry. So let's have you, these two here, ready to deploy further out in this direction. You know, I'm going to put a unit of grenadiers here, ready to. Now I'll put the big unit of grenadiers here to, to occupy that building, and this unit of grenadiers to go here. And my general to be here. I think I might get my regiment of horse over here. No bayonets. Oh, I didn't garrison anyone into here. Let's garrison my marines. If they come through the town, which it looks like they might well do. Let's garrison the town hall. I want to garrison the church. Get snipers up in here. <laughs> oh god, light infantry up here shooting down would look 
Amazing. If they come in towards the town, then I will start to fold up the flanks of my advance. Cannons, artillery is doing a good job. One thing I have to be cognizant of is if they start firing inwards, like these, well, these guys for a start are going to have to slimber them up. Let's get that unit of Marines Garrison in that house. Limber them up. They've been utterly smashed by something. Oh, this unit of artillery. Probably focus fired by enemy artillery. Mm, they're not quite ready to commit. These guys focus on the marines. Nah, focus more to the rear, actually. Those marines are going to get... Well, while they are elites, um, and these are just, you know, Cossack infantry, not really in, like, an actual line, um, they will do enough. Actually, in fact, I might even... Push my line up. If I can chew up one unit of guards of, of uh, elite infantry before the battle kicks off, that would be most agreeable. <clears throat> most, most agreeable. Line of sight isn't very good, but. Yeah, very poor line of sight. Unlimber. There we go, they're entering the town. Oh, it's my phone vibrating somewhere. Quite entering, they might get some. Be just out of range. Quite get this artillery to fire. Canister, they will be within range imminently. Ah, oh, if this house doesn't get in the way. Keep his round shot. They're about to waver anyway. Cavalry's coming in. Turn my this regiment. Fire it will off. Go into the regiment. Have my grand have this unit of line move out because there's no point in being there really. Counter charge their cavalry. Focus fire that West Indian mercenary. Wavering? Okay, let's do this. Once this cavalry falls back, I'll fall back my... Fall back my line. There you 
yeah, cavalry's falling back. You stay in the house with fire will off. Engaging on the right. Fall back. Fall out of the square, then fall back, and then let's turn fire wheel back on. Let them move up and be chewed out by just overwhelming rate of fire, weight of fire. Cavalry moving on the right. Let's move up my Don's cavalry to their general, see if I can snipe him with their, with their carbines before going in for the final assault. Shot the Marines, there we go. There you go, engage the general. And where's my other? Let's do round shot, continue to fire on their centre. It's tempting to charge them in to storm this house. Oh. It's my cavalry I forgot about. Their cavalry I forgot about. Fire on the cavalry, plant my militia onto my guns. Form square. Charge the charge my militia in. I did set my guns to halt. There you go. Using my regiment of horse to charge the general from the rear. Got him nice and isolated on the flank. They're running to try and support, but it's not going to help. Come on, wavering, broken, kill the general. Got him. Good. Fall back. No militia. Come back. Turn fireball back on, canister into that last unit of regiment of foot. <sighs> Can't canister them, round shot them. Bayonet charge, bad idea. Fall back, draw them back here within range of. Oh, these cannons, the set of cannons did come back, fine. Limber up there. I want them to move in so they can be picked apart by guys from the town hall. Guys from this house 
and this unit can also all pick on them, even get some flanking shots through here. Swing my line around. Oh god, cavalry, 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 cavalry. Flee, flee, flee. Ideal formation, but they'll have to do form a V shape set of lines. Both of these guys' lines of fire can they can both fire down through this gap rather than one straight flat. You focus the Marines, you focus this unit of West Infantry, West, Western European Infantry, you smash into that unit of guerrilla mercenaries. Okay, let's limber up. Mostly picked apart. There you go, grenadiers engaging. Right, let's do this the Russian way. This unit of marines that I'm worried about. Shouldn't have charged that line infantry into them without support. Don't worry, chaps. You don't have to hold on for long. Support is coming. We can peel them off. Fifty dragoons versus twenty regiment of horse, sixty-two Cossacks. Might be a bit tight. Well, it'd be a lot it will be a lot tighter once these marines get involved. Run these guys on to hit the guns. Run my militia to the back of these marines. You might go, militia? Marines? You must be crazy. But these are guys with massive, great, big choppers. One thing they do okay at is, com is, um, is uh, melee combat. No. Get my horse out of there.
get my Cossacks cavalry to chase down that unit of Marines. Let's get some regiment of horse to chase down. Here these Marines, they're gonna wait. All 13 of them. While everyone just rolls on in. I should keep my foot guards in, keep my general in reserve to hit this unit of marines. Charge in. Hopefully, get one last blast of canister in. Nope. Whole fire. My general is in difficulty. Temporarily. You get these marines about to be hit from the flanks as well by another unit of line. The Russian way of war. I have to hit the Marines in the back. It's the Marines that I want to kill. So it's made the regiment of horse. Get them to hit this unit of marines as well. You may be steady, but you've got cavalry in your rear now. Wavering. Oh, yes. Delicious. Should be the end of the battle now, but I want to finish off these marines. Oh no, six, six pounder. Ah, now it's sprouting. Continue. You're still hunting them down. You're still hunting them down. Yeah, they're routing because of the. Probably these, um, these Cossacks probably shoot them in the back. 13. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hit. Finish off his last unit of marines. Eight, seven, six. Ah, come on. Pathfinding when you're trying to eliminate routing units can be awful. Four, three, two, one. Last man standing, and the border's there. Will he make it? I don't think so. Got him. Lovely. Balls. They'll still be there, raiding, um, but I don't know if they'll actually try a sally on Finland. Um, but I... Oh, look at that. Only 700 remaining. That's right. You fall back. Yeah, <laughs> see, they, don't have, they no longer have the strength to deal with me. Okay, so I want to build an army to face down Persia. Face down Persia, head east, into India. Oh, the Mughal Empire. I need to build some sort of navy then just to stop them from landing on my shores. I need, oh, I need India because my funds, my money is so low. India is an expensive endeavour, high cost, high reward. But if I can cap, I am in a significantly better position. There's a port Enemy raid in Vasa. Yep, fine. Select the type of port to construct here. Efficient port will help you replenish. A trade port. New port in Beirut. Cool. Um. Yes. 
Infrastructure, metal roads, good. Damascus, Baghdad. Alright, so the core of an army here in Baghdad. One, two, three, four. One, two. So I've heard Russian hand mortars are meant to be just absolute, absolute badasses. So I might try two companies and then add some regular line. And that's going to be the core of my army pushing east into Persia. Probably have to scatter some war in you know, Azerbaijan and just garrisons really. Iron Masters works in a wealthy region, plus 1600. Oh, this region is very poor. It would only give me 800. Um, but in the long run, it will be worth it. Ooh, this army is coming all the way around. They are going to go over here. I'm not sure where they were going, but they're going to now go to support my fight against the uh, Persians. That's the army I was thinking of. Okay, Moscow. I'm not going to recruit. I'm not going to do much the air in, in terms of upgrading my ooh, prosperous. Is prosperous better than wealthy? Fourteen hundred, sixteen hundred. It isn't it? Is not. Are there any more villages? No villages in Moscow. Okay, I need to be ready at some point to flip one of these into maybe pleasure gardens if required. So nine masters works. Wealthy Weaver's Cottage, plus 1,200. Good. 24,000 a turn. Lots of very, very good ministers. Um, Peter the First is a bit meh. Oh, should look, definitely have looked at um, construction. Oh, this army's on the move to Athens. Oh, Athens and Venice. Eh, they're just mostly conscripts. Loads of them, though. If we tempted to take Athens. Athens, Jerusalem, Cairo. Oh, well, to be honest, if I take Jerusalem and Cairo, I'm almost on the edge, verge of destroying them. So if I take, if I take, if I take Athens, Jerusalem and Cairo, then I'd probably try call try get peace with the with the um, the Ottoman Empire. I think. Let's see if I can get peace with the Swedes. Nope, oh, fair enough. Um, let's trade with the Ottoman, with the with the Austrians. I do have a land border with them, so it can't be intercepted. So that's got my income up by another two thousand. Cool. No trade with Spain and Persia because the Prussians are blockading my port. Prussia. Peace, because it, may, it doesn't make much sense to be at war with Prussia just yet, because I didn't really need to be, and I may as well make some money off of them. There you go, that's gone from... God, I've gone from, from 26,000 to 30, 34,000, so plus 8,000, just from opening up my trade. Ooh, the Mughal Empire, that's going to be a difficult pill to swallow if I fight them. Oh God, and they are allied with everyone. And they are the dominant power now. So if I declare war on them, I'm going to be in very poor shape, both in terms of allies and in terms of funds. Okay. I need to shore up my western flank. And get ready. So let's have a look at policies. Minus 8% per town wealth. Let's do that. Let's really get growth. Let's really get growth firing. So let's have a look at Ankara, for instance. Growth 51. Industry's going up. Batman's developing. Cool. I think I might have, to, might have to maintain the course for now. Um, focus the efforts on 
the Ottomans. To be honest, if anything, I might call them back. Call them back. Take out Cairo and Egypt, and then declare peace with the Ottomans. I think I'll do that. Or maybe make them a garrison. Does this have walls? It does have walls. Maybe I'll recruit my own special garrison. Okay. Let's hit end turn and see what happens. Alliance with Britain. So. The tempting chance would be to, do, to ally with Britain and then when I declare war on the Mughals, see if they back me or the Mughals. Let's do it. It gives me a chance now. Although I am at war with everybody. I will be at war with everybody because the Mughals are at war with everyone. Yes, because I need cash. That and a strong Austria is to my benefit if I suddenly to go to go to war with everyone. Because that's going to be the result if I declare on the Ottomans. Not the Ottomans. Uh, the Mughals. That's that's going to be the result. I've not got the economy yet just to outmatch them in terms of just pure firepower. Not yet. Hmm. They're sallying forth. But by the looks of the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next part where I defend this push from the Ottoman Empire.